Hey YouTube, hope you're having a really good day because I'm not. What's up, V-Nation? Hope you're having a really good day, because I am. Now, as you read in the this video, today I'm going to be telling you some facts and, like, some little tips on how to, you know, fit in with the crew and, uh, you know, stick stick with the crowd when you go back to school. Because if you don't know, it's about that time when people are going back to school. I don't have to go back to school until next Monday, so uh, next Tuesday when this when the, my next video go up, I'm going to already be in school. So yeah, I'm going to just tell you a few facts on how to fit in and how to, you know, stay, you know, a little popular or whatever you want to say. Let's get this video started. Alright, so number one is how to meet people or, you know, how to approach and make friends. Um, so I say you just go in for the kill and you talk to anybody you just look like you you observe them first you see how their ways are because you don't want to get in a wrong crowd then they tell you to do something and they uh what is the word when they what is the dang word uh what is the word i don't know the word but when they uh you know try to get you to do something bad and they just keep asking you to do it and keep holding you and you just do it and you get yourself in trouble and I think that's how it's going to go for the rest of the, the school year so I don't think you want to do that you go with the people who like to do their work I mean you don't want to get with no nerds when they do work 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 but you want to be with the good people who know how to limit their talking and you know how to be respectful but also you know, know how to have a little fun if you know what I mean. Number two is how to make a relationship between you and your teacher. Not like a relationship relationship, but like a student teacher relationship. Because I'm not going to lie, all the teachers knew who I was because I always made a name for myself. I will either be the weirdest one there or the one who always playing jokes on people. So I'm going to say make make your make your your title, make make joke what what it, what are you how why do people what are you known for in the school that's what i'm trying to say what are you known for are you the quiet person or are you the crazy person like this one right here or are you just like weird or something i don't know so yeah make sure you well you don't have to make a name for yourself don't try too hard to make a name for yourself but i suggest you do especially at the school i go to <laughs> Another one is how to deal with your haters. Um, your haters are the people who always talk down on you and just don't appreciate you as a human being. Uh, I suggest you just ignore them and not fall into their little trap because you're going to get in trouble along with them. So I suggest you just keep your mouth shut and handle your business elsewhere, like somewhere else. Take the drama somewhere else. Just don't do it in the school because I don't think you want to be in that type of trouble, especially in the beginning of the school year. <laughs> Another one is never be scared to ask questions. If you want to know anything, I suggest you should ask because I think teachers are told or trained or should know uh, that's their job to help. So if they're not helping, you go and tell your parents or something because teachers are at school to help you. So you need to ask for help. And if they're not giving you the help that you think you need, then you go talk to like the principal or somebody and let them know the problem and hopefully they solve the problem as you will want them to. Another one is safety. I suggest you always listen to a teacher when they tell you something, like if they tell you it's for a safety reason, I suggest you take their advice because some students decide they want to go on their own and be all tough and stuff and they, they get hurt or really, really in trouble. So I suggest you always uh, use caution for wherever you at and just be on high alert of every little, you know, spot of, of, I can't find out this, I can't really like, I don't know the word, but you know what I'm talking about. Another one is always complete your work. Like if somebody's talking to you, you tell your teacher or somebody, I know uh, it seems like, uh, like the classes, it's called some being a snitch if you always tell him. Uh, I suggest you really don't care what people say. If you are feeling some type of way and you can't get your work done, 
uh, you tell a teacher or tell an adult because you're not at school to just talk and play around. You at school to learn. So I suggest you you stay focused on your work and never let nobody tell you up elsewhere. Another thing, if you feel uncomfortable with either teachers or students, if you have counselors or principals or any other adults in the area, you immediately tell them the problem because I suggest, I mean, I believe that they are there to help you. So you go get the help you need because I don't want anybody to be feeling uncomfortable. So, all right, so that's just a couple of tips to help you survive in school or the tips I used. Uh, and I survived, I'm known. That's all I gotta say. So um, I hope you enjoyed Tuesday's video and make sure you leave a comment below for next Tuesday's video, which is again, I'm kind of afraid for next Tuesday's video because in next Tuesday's video, I'm going to be at school. So yeah, that's probably going to be the next video anyways, uh, but I do got a list of videos that I can do. So yeah, it's always going to be a video. Uh, make sure you subscribe so you can be notified every time I make a brand new video every single Tuesday. Uh, all my social media is in the description below, so make sure you check that out along with the last video I made. Um, that's the end of this video, so don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave the comments. Peace be nation. Bye, too.